All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you a few different ways that you can make thumbnails for your beats using Photoshop. The first method is gonna be the lowest effort, but it's pretty much the method that a lot of people do on YouTube. It's basically you just take a picture from Google Images, like let's just do NBA Young Boy, for example. It's pretty self-explanatory, but um, go to images you want to make sure the resolution is high enough so as close to 1080 as close to 1920 by 1080 as possible so this one's 1250 that's pretty close basically you don't want an image that's like this for example this is only 190 and then if you go to view and you put that up to 1080 it's gonna be super blurry this one I'm gonna use this one do view image save that you go to Photoshop do file new you want to make sure that your resolution the width is 1920 the height is 1080 that's gonna be HD and then go file place and then you grab the corner you hold shift so otherwise it's gonna like distort the image so you hold shift and drag it to the edge and just fill up the whole picture then that would be your thumbnail you just save that as a JPEG and then you can also do like a cartoon like they have on this you just type in whatever artist and then you type in cartoon and then you would then you do the same thing you just Find one that's a good resolution, download it. Another thing you can do, which what I would suggest is find your style. So like this person, basically they just have a background. So like he did a blue sky. And then you just use the same style for your, for all your thumbnails. So then it's like a uniform style and that's going to get people to recognize who you are. That's uh, it's basically just uh, branding. Um, so let's do blue sky. And then if it's a background, we'll make sure it's 1920 by 1080. And then you go to images. And then you could do any one of these that you think fits your style. So I'm gonna do this one, then save that. Then I'm gonna delete this, file place. And then like this person, you can add a little image so these images would be to get something like this you would type in whatever and then png so like for example let's just do um rick from rick and morty and then you type in png And then for PNGs, you'll see that the background is like checkerboard. That's how you know it's a PNG. So you do view, save it, file place. And there you go. And then you can change you'd have to 
to do edits to the color and stuff you'd have to you see this little icon um that means you have to rasterize the image and i do that by clicking pencil and then click on the image because it's not gonna let you edit it unless it's rasterized so then you hit okay and then that little icon disappears and now you can draw can do whatever but to change the color you just do adjustments hue saturation and then you can change the color to whatever you can resize this just grab the corner hold shift and then if you want to center it like let's just say it's over here and you can't really get it exactly centered you just click on this layer and then you go to the background hold shift to well to get just those two you hold control and then it selects that and the background and then you make sure you're on this tool align it horizontal and align it vertical and then that makes it center and then that's pretty much how you do like super simple thumbnail um, if you want to get more complex, like these kind of thumbnails, um, I'm going to make one of these as an example. So like, let's just say you're doing a, how to make a fire Drake type beat, um, or the baby we'll do the baby. Uh, so basically like for this. You could grab an image of FL Studio 1920 by 1080. And you go to images and then you can grab one that fits, one that you like. Um, sometimes you gotta go to the actual website uh and then grab one a different one we'll try this one and save and i'm gonna delete those two file place Try to get the baby PNG. So we'll take this one. Save that. file place and put that right on there Arcade. now I'm gonna flip him so to flip it just change to this tool right click free transform right click again and then flip I think it's vertically or not uh, horizontal Then I'm gonna do a new layer. We'll 
We're going to put some text. You want to make sure to use a font that's going to be really um, visible. So something like Arial is pretty good. I'm going to do bold. You want to make sure it's all caps. How to make. And you just resize that. And you see the text is all bunched up together. So you hit this image right here or this, uh, this button right here. Um, make sure that you actually highlight the text first that button and you can stretch out or space out the text make sure that it's uh, visible you can see right here that's more like the size that it's going to look like on YouTube you want to make sure that you can read it all right and then you have a background behind that so I'll just um, I did a new layer for that so I'm gonna use the selection tool and then just select a square or rectangle I mean behind it and then we'll paint it black And then you can center the text inside of that black bar by just hitting that layer, the text layer, and that bar layer. And then do this tool, center horizontally, center vertically. And then you can merge these and center it on the whole thing. All right, and then we'll do like a little fruity loop logo. All right, so then file place and put that in there. Just resize it and then sometimes you want to have a border around it a white border to make it more visible so you double click on that layer and then this will pop up and you do outer I think it's outer stroke or stroke um, you change the color to white and you can change the size and then if you want to put that on this image to use copy layer style and then paste it and then for the background I'm gonna do another layer and we're gonna do a gradient so I'm going to do from blue to pink. And then go to the gradient tool. And then you change the opacity, you bring that down. And then you can adjust the color to whatever. I'm actually gonna go like that. And then if you want to make the baby a different color, you can rasterize it. Then you go to image, hue, saturation, 
colorize. That's pretty much it. That's how you make thumbnails. Um, probably some other methods that you can use, but probably watching other tutorials on if you have an idea of what you want to do, you just type in that idea and then you'll find that info and just come up with your own style. That's pretty much it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Peace.